we're gonna start a whole new wave and a whole new movement called fuck Xenex. If I see anyone post them doing Xenex online, you fucking stupid. If you promote drug use and you promote Xenex after Lil Peep died, you fucking stupid. Stop doing Xenex 2017. My dog got to put it. Got to put a hoodie off a little peep. That's for a little peep right there. Rock in peace, my nigga. Rock in peace. Oh, the blizzy. You did. Yo, yo, yo. Lie. Um, I hope that bitch that saw him in the lazy dance is locked up. For the rest of her fucking life, bro. That's some fucked up shit, bro. I never thought, because it was like, my producer, Goose the Guru, you feel me? He told me, like, Lil Peep <laughs> tapped in. He wanted to make some music with me, you feel me? So that shit really hurt me this morning. I was really, I was really watching this nigga's videos all morning and shit, seeing people talk about it and shit. I just wanted to give my condolences, man. This is why y'all niggas need to get off the Xanax wave, get off the Molly wave, get off the Coke wave. Stop that shit, bro. Just smoke some weed. Chill out and smoke some weed, bro. That's all you gotta do, bro. Stay focused. Smoke some weed if it makes you focus. If it makes you not in tune with life, don't smoke that either. But look, if you can't handle this shit, bro, don't do this shit, bro. That shit is no joke. This shit is no joke. But yeah, rest in heaven to that man, bro. He did a lot of good things for this industry, you feel me? <laughs> bro surpassed my followers from the dead. That's really a GOAT, bro. He really a GOAT, and he's going to be remembered for sure. I'm seeing a lot of comments from people who are acting like a lot of different people could have stopped what happened to Peep. And I think that anybody who's saying that is probably somebody who hasn't really dealt with an addict, hasn't dealt with somebody who's really into drugs. Like I have a friend right now who realistically has been killing himself for the past few years with primarily alcohol, but also other drugs. And, you know, I would like nothing more in the whole world than to be able to stop what he's doing. And, I mean, I've offered to pay for rehab. I've tried to do intervention type things. I mean, over and over and over, I've made it clear that I will do anything to be able to help him. And he doesn't want to stop. So he's not going to stop. And I'm well aware that one of these days, I'm probably going to get a call that's going to be just like the ones I got about Peep. And there's nothing I can do about it. And it's one of my best friends. So think about that. overwhelmed um i just wanted to put this video together real quick i'm one of the first people i like really fell in love with you know what i mean when it comes to his music within the past two years he just like did so much crazy shit bro it's so like heartbreaking i still can't believe it's real like i feel like this is fake i feel like this isn't real i keep seeing like old pictures of him and i'm like there's no way it's not it just didn't happen it's not real it sucks man
out there who's a little Pete fan, um, you guys know how talented he was, you guys know how great he was, well, he was even more fucking great as a person. To him, I never met him, but I, I know Lil Tracy. Lil Tracy is my brother, and I know how much Lil Tracy care about him. So, me being an artist, it's another artist. RP, I love you, bro. May you look down on us, and it just it just show a lot a lot of the new the, the new generation like we need to put the drugs down. Even myself, like I swear to God, it's just like it's just you never know what nobody go through, man. I I ain't finna preach none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But hey, life goes on. My condolences go out to him and his family. That's what it is. Dexter. Hey man, rest in peace a little Pete. All my prayers go out to you. Like this might be true about pump, not pump, but peep, peep. little peep. Yep, uh, I, know. I know, yeah, I know. I see it. Uh, his, Post his, just posted it too. Post just posted it. I, I'm hearing his manager posting something on Instagram. I see a lot of more people are, are kind of giving more details to what might be the source of the overdose. I, I want to just send prayers and condolences out to his family, 
um, all his friends, all his close supporters, Nigga, people around name, him who have been Let's intimately go. there with him day in and day out. All and of course, his fans and supporters. Uh, no this is going to be a bigger conversation that we need to have, but sometimes, you know what I mean, it's not appropriate in the moment when you just found out somebody died. Because that overdose conversation, we have to have it. Um, that, that The drug conversation, we have to have it. But if he did pass away tonight, we got to take a chance to just mourn his death. And even if you didn't know too much about his music, just, just someone who even, just knowing his name, He's, he was a peer, somehow, some way. So to find out he passed away is definitely a loss for hip-hop. Um, I think I covered him once. I've talked about him uh, a couple times, but I never really got too much into the music. It's very sad. Definitely very sad. So... <laughs> Yeah, I really feel like people wake up every day hoping that I fail, like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like people wake up and it's like, I hope and pray to God this kid, there's another story behind him, you know what I'm saying, that we could see him fail and all this shit, like, this shit really whack, bro, and, um, to be honest with you, rest in peace, little people, you know what I'm saying, and there's people, not just artists, Kids, you know what I'm saying? We they go through shit like this, bro. They, they drug addiction, all this shit. People get bullied, bro. And I heard, you know what I'm saying? He was bisexual. He was gay. He was. What does that matter? What does that concern y'all? Like, you know what I'm saying? I wake up to comments. It should have been you instead of little Pete. That's cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel I shouldn't wake up to shit like that, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's I will be hated forever. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's sad, bro. The, the hate that is in this world is, is nasty. It's